y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today is April the 12th, 2016, and we've got a lot of fun things going on. So first, let's take a look at the stickers. So this week I have three new stickers. New York Granger, a really cool guy I know online. Uh, Carmichael Workshop. He has an amazing channel. You've got to go check it out. I'll leave a link below. Um, he does some really cool things. Most recently, one I really liked was the Saw Squawk. Uh, it was a birdhouse that looked like a saw stop. Um, just a really cool channel. has a lot of fun things. And uh, Wacky Woodworks. Um, sweet channel. Um, he's out of New Zealand. Uh, one of these days, I'd love to go see him. Not just because he's in New Zealand, but he has a really cool, uh, a really cool channel. So go check them out, and I hope you like them. So this last week, um, I was doing a lot more of planning and organizing and really getting uh, things set up for the channel where I want to go. Um, but a couple videos I was able to get up. Um, number one, the long form format uh, for making the smoothing plane. Uh, that was far more of a hit than I expected. Uh, the movie was almost 20 minutes long, and I'm amazed at how many people actually sat through the whole thing. So I may end up having to do more long term, uh, long format videos. Uh, just let me know what uh, let me know what you think. If you like those longer movies, um, great. I don't know how often I can really produce them because my computer overheats if I try and do much more than like 14 minutes. Um, so <laughs> I don't know how many of them I can do, but I'm going to try and put out a few more from time to time. The other video from this last week was one that I think I've had requested more than any other, and that's how I do the, the simple Celtic carving. Um, this is just a, a very simple knot, uh, Celtic knot system, and uh, it really doesn't take me that long. Like Each one of these pieces is about 40 minutes. I can probably get it down to 30 minutes or so if I wasn't vid videoing it. Um, they're fairly simple. And I really had a lot of fun showing people how to do that. And so I left the, uh, the video for that here. Um, a lot of people really like that, and it went over far better than I expected. So um, if that's something you've been asking for, I'm sorry it took me so long to get it up. So this next week, I've got a lot of fun things planned. Um, number one, I just finished restoring this Stanley number 113 compass plane. Um, and if you haven't seen this before, it is for um, really making curves, either convex or concave. Um, and it's adjustable, so you can do just about any curve one way or the other. Uh, the only problem is because it had such a huge bow in the sole, it was just a pain to flatten out, and I had to sign it. Okay, no, I didn't flatten the sole on this. I'm sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> But I'm going to have a video coming up on what I did to restore this and the fun I had with that. So um, if that's interesting you, that should be coming out, I'm thinking, Thursday. And I'm really looking forward to that one. The second video this week is one I have been wanting to do for a long time. Um, a while ago, I made my first kerfing plane, um, also known as a rabbit saw. Um, there's a bunch of different names they go by. And this is great. It allows you to make a kerf around a board, uh, making it easier for resawing, or you can actually cut in uh, dado from two different sides. Um, and it's very useful, but this one had a set fence and it wasn't quite what I wanted. Um, a while ago, I made one for another friend that had an adjustable fence. Uh, that was off of a kit uh, made by Bad Axe Tools. Uh, really cool kit and a lot of, uh, a lot of sweet functionality. But I got a kit from Blackburn Tools that has a lot of really sweet functionality, things that I haven't come across before, and I'm really looking forward to putting this together. So hopefully on Saturday I'm going to show the video on how I made this kerfing plane. Um, as you can see, it's not done yet, so hopefully by Saturday it will be done, and I'm going to have that up. So stay tuned for that. This is going to be one of those videos that I really like, and I think I'm going to have a lot of, uh, a lot of other people who feel the same way. Uh, the other thing from this week is I got my ticket all lined up for woodworking in America this fall, and I'm really looking forward to being there. Um, so if it's something you're planning on going to, um, I thought about maybe getting doing a get-together or something of that nature. Uh, if that would interest you, please let me know. Um, I'm really looking forward to meeting some of you and uh, seeing what your thoughts are and where you want the channel to go. Um, I, I don't really know if a lot of people know this, um, but my reason for having the channel is not to... Uh, to sell things, and so that's why I really don't have a website where I'm, you know, selling T-shirts and stickers and uh, all the the things that I might make. Uh, my goal with this channel is really to provide a a free bit of education on hand tools, um, and really to just to share my passion for hand tools. I. I 
I don't want people to become all hand tools like I am. You know, at some point in the future, I'm probably going to be getting some power tools. Um, but until that time, I really want to share the joy of hand tools and what those mean to me and what they can mean to other people. Um, a, a lot of us have really become focused on completing the project and getting the project done and that end goal. And that's great, but it's at the expense of the actual steps involved. And I think a lot of times all the little steps that have to be done to complete a project are something that uh, something that we don't look forward to and something we don't enjoy. We enjoy the end project, but we don't enjoy all the steps up to it. And I really want to change that in the woodworking culture. Um, and hand tools are a great way to do that because you can make some of those really boring and tedious steps enjoyable. Um, the enjoyment of making a perfect curl with a hand plane or using a hand chisel to knock out a curve. Um, all those little odd things that are just really, really fun all of a sudden. Um, and so that is really the goal of this channel. Um, I, I want to just to show people that hand tools aren't just a slow and hard thing to use. They're actually a way to bring a bit of fun back into the work. Um, no, I'm not saying do all the projects completely with hand tools, um, unless that's something that you think would be enjoyable. Um, but just some of those odd steps, some of those fun things, try and bring a hand tool into your work and uh, learn the skill a little bit. And you might be surprised at how much fun you actually have. So that's about it for today. Um, I hope you liked all that's been going on. We've got a, a few fun projects coming up. Um, if you like what's been going on, please hit the like button or feel free to subscribe. If there's something you'd like to know about or some question you have, uh, leave, me a qu uh, leave me a question in the comments below. Or if you just want to say hey, I'd love to uh, say hey back. <laughs> but until next time, have a wonderful day.